Hi, this is Jay Arthur. I'm often surprised Six Sigma teams get stuck sometimes because they can't find some data. And they never think about just collecting a little bit of data manually. Because you don't need a lot of data, sometimes maybe 30, 40 data points to, to figure out a pattern, a Pareto pattern. And so if you go in the QI macros, we're going to use something called a check sheet. So in the QI macros, click on Improvement Tools, go down to Check Sheet, and that'll bring up a fill-in-the-blank template. And there's some things out here that we might be tracking, like delays or miscommitments or defects or errors or repeat fixes of things. So that's just kind of a starting template. And we could collect things by day of week, or we could change how that is laid out. We could say, well, maybe I want to look at weekdays and weekends and by shift. And I want to start to track some of these things. And so I just clear out the data. And then what I do is I start with kind of a blank worksheet. And then I look and I watch and I say, okay, well, what's the first defect or mistake or error that I discover? And so what I do is then start a check sheet. And as I find new defects, I write them in and add a little stroke tally. And I just keep doing this throughout the day or throughout the week or throughout whatever. And as it grows, it'll actually collect all that data. And then you can start to build a Pareto pattern. All right, so we can sum it across the right-hand side, and we can sum it across the bottom. Now you can see across the bottom here, I mean, everything's pretty s standard. There's nothing special going on by day of week. But we could take this data on the left-hand side here, select that data with our mouse, go over to the other side, choose Pareto chart, and this would be total defects uh, during week whatever. And here's our different types of defects. And you can see that defect 3 is over half of our total defects. And so that would lead us into, well, gee, now I want to go ahead and, and actually create a, a fishbone diagram, and this big bar becomes the head of my fish. So in the QI macros, you'd simply come up, choose Ishikawa fishbone diagram, and we could type in a, a problem statement here, or we could just use a basic fishbone. So during during a week one, defect three accounted for 50% of total defects, which was higher than desired and caused customer dissatisfaction or whatever. And this could become then, we could move or copy that into our check sheet here. And so now we'd actually have our check sheet with all of our numbers, we'd have a Pareto chart, and we'd have a fishbone diagram that we could start to analyze. So that's how you use the QI macros and check sheets to start to collect data so we can really see what's going on. And it's a very simple process. So learn how to start using check sheets to collect data when you just don't have any. And you only need maybe 30 data points to be successful.